Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praises to the Mosa Yahweh Baasham Yoshai, Baasham Rakodash, which is the name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue, who the world ignorantly call God and Jesus. That is one of said day. Right? That will understand the elders and apostles, all the brothers who push in the word in sincerity and truth also. You know, we're looking to get the hell up out of this wicked kingdom where oppression never ceases. Oppression against the Israelites and these heathens oppressing their own people too. So hey, it's just a dilapidated kingdom and we come to make our next contribution to the humble spirit of the Most High Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You know, to pull down some of them strongholds right now. So we're going into the name of this lesson is what Christianity does to people. Right? False hope slash false hope. Because let me tell you something. I was looking at a guy. He had everything going for him, he was going to church, he had a nice little new vehicle, working in taxi. Always, always listening to Christian music, gospel. But all of a sudden I say, well, I hear him listening vibes, cartel and worldly music. And this was a guy who never used to listen to them thing. So I said to myself, I said, what go on with Bridget? First thing I see, well, he's not driving a new vehicle again, he's driving a old vehicle. And through the spirit, I put two and two together and I say, well, Disappointment come, tribulation come and what? He turn away from his faith. Besides the fact that he might be weak, Christianity don't prepare people for that really and truly. Because all Christianity does push is that what? So I see it, God gonna give you a financial breakthrough. Huh? And the Lord said, huh? I see that you're getting a mortgage for that house. Huh? The Mosa is not about that, right? Mosa is about going through affliction to enter into the straight and narrow pathway broad is the way to enter destruction right now we know about that broad way we are about the straight and narrow way and we going into it this is the book of Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 and, it, and here where it says my son when thou comest to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation set thine heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble and that will go on the way the brother you know he make haste to turn away from his part right? because first thing first he wasn't rooted in the correct thing right he wasn't rooted in Yahweh Basham Yahushai which is the only power to hold you the only true substance a man will have against you know the elements a Esau a the devil you know the man who the devil dealing with Satan is himself. Right? Verse 3 Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at the last, at the least, the last end. Because if the word increase now, but the, the increase is at the last end. When the kingdom come, you'll get your increase. Now it's just a point in time where you more or less the most high making you to shine. The elect through the, through, through the many afflictions the elect going through right now. The elect will be shining in the eyesight of these heathens and them. We will be shining because at the end of the day, when we go through affliction and we stand up strong, we in, we in, we in, we in fall to the ground, you might stutter, you might scallops, but you ain't stay there, you get, get back up again and you keep going. You know? So this, this, hey, this way it is about Christianity not teaching them that, that you have to prepare yourself, gird up your loins as a man, right? And a good proof of that, we will go to the book of Mark, chapter 4, we will start from verse 13. Mark chapter 4, start from verse 13. Right, and here it says here, right? And he said unto them, which is Yahweh Shai, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the, the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown but when they have heard satan cometh immediately and take it away the word that was sown in their hearts and and, and that going into all these different philosophies that is not the truth it have no substance no substance in their doctrine so anything is possible with them they will have no strength they will have no defense against when Satan come against them, because first thing first, they not abiding in truth. They not abiding in the real knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. They are the Mosai. Verse 16. 
right and these are they likewise much as sown on stony ground right the heart is the stony ground because why the mo it it wasn't broken down to be built back up that way the most i do in here right now in the truth the most i see are broken on a country fat will not destroy so the, the, the most i breaking down the men in the truth to build them back up right now this is something these christians don't understand when the breaking down come they does does more or less faint right and these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground who when they have heard us the word immediately receive it with gladness verse 17 this is the point that we're going with the brother there who you know who, who everything was going good but it could go on bad and he, he cast away all the righteousness he was trying and hoping on and have no root in themselves and so and so endure but for a time afterwards when affliction and op and persecution arise for the word's sake immediately they are offended and our go on there with the brother he was offended by the tribulation right that that came upon him instead of you hold fast and sink yourself more anyhow we are sinking yourself more in christianity are not rooting it christianity roots so shallow if a hard breeze blow it go knock you over that's not like the tree planted by the rivers of water you know that go go last last I face face all the elements on them right Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 17 and 18 and here it says here I gave my heart to know wisdom right and to know madness and folly I perceive that this is also vexation of spirit because let me tell you something persecution Things that you will lost in it, letting them think vexing so that they lose their faith, they vexation of spirit, your heart not in the correct place. Verse 18. For in much wisdom is for much for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases it in knowledge increases it in sorrow. And this is what the brother do that, that doesn't that doesn't really and truly preach. That is why it's a blessing for the most high to bring his truth, his word upon you. Because only through that you will be able to stand up outside here. You know? Against all these elements. Right? Next scripture. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. Right? Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. And here it says here. <coughs> but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of the ministry so affliction comes along with the doctrine the proper doctrine of the lord prosperity does come to you know, the most i could get little blessings but what the scripture say for i know now how to be abound and how to be abased you have to know how to weigh out the balance you can't just when the most i give your blessings you're good he had the car you know he working he making money but now when, when, when it's time to be a base, you're vexed, you can't away your feet. You know? That is a weak nature and, and that kind of nature not going on um not, not going on profit yeah, any time that it have to come. Marshall Lord, the mark of the beast one of the main prophecy we, we the men here at, at Grills, Great Millstone does does push. Because these are the things coming just now. This blessing, blessing, blessing is you hoping for. And I don't want to work for it. They don't want to go to the fire to be presented to, to be presented as glitter and gold. You know? They don't want to do it. They're not going through the fire and they, they, they despise the chastening of the Lord. But what is the scripture? The first scripture I read, I will read it over again. Right? Sirach. Right? Sirach chapter 2. Verse, verse 1. Verse 1. My son. If thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So you see, you had to curl up your loins. Expect to go through the worst set of things right now in the flesh in order to receive the best. There's only balance. Those that endure the hardest will receive the greatest. That is just the balance of the most high. The scriptures say, and just balance is, is abomination unto the Lord. You know? 
So I hope this this contribution that I made was edificational. My what lab about that to Babylon, that to all these two thirds soon come to New Jerusalem. Come here, Sharala. Rise Israel. Shalom.